Hi, uh, Jerry Dryman from Exit Really North Star here in Norwalk, out uh, at another business uh, in the Norwalk area here. I'm out at Ted Lair, and uh, really excited to have Derek join us to talk a little bit about Ted Lair. Um, you know, a lot of times we think we just come out here and get a, uh, pick out a flower, but there's a lot more to this business than, than probably people know. So, Derek, how long have you been in business and tell people kind of all the phases of what you do? Well, we do a lot of different things, but to answer your first question, we've been in business for 40 years, and we're if you can do it with horticulture, we do it, whether it be landscape design or you want your house plant repotted or you want to come out and pick out some flowers for your, you know, your pots, we do it all. So I don't know, it's, it's kind of hard to answer that just because we do so much, but basically if you can think of it for your yard, house, or plant related stuff, we probably have something going on that's involved with it. Okay, great. And we were just talking, you have a potting bar here. What's, what's the potting bar? The potting bar is where we do all of our custom planting. So maybe you have a pot in the front of your house and let's just say you come in, I have a north side, two pots in the front of my house or next to my garage and I want to put some flowers in it. What can you design for me? Just bring your pots in, we'll pot it up for you and design it all out. And we also do house plant transplantings there, which I personally do. So people may, I've had people come in with like hundred year old plants and they want their pot repotted and I'll do it for them and look it over and make sure it's healthy and get them on the right track to having a nice house plant. Cool, cool. Um, one of the things that we always talk about is how does your business get back kind of to the Norwalk surrounding area here? We do a lot of things for Norwalk. So I personally have helped out at Brownie Park Gardens, which is the little park by the library. I helped design it and the garden center was very good at donating a lot of plant material for that. We've donated some pots for a project the school was working on. And we also do donations of like trees or discounts on trees to help Norwalk get its plants, um, excuse me, to get trees in Norwalk for shading and whatnot. Okay. Okay. Um, looks like business is doing well. You continue to grow and expand or? Yeah, we have actually. We, this past spring, if, you have, if it's been a while since you've been out here, we've added a second greenhouse out back which is really awesome because we really needed the space. So we've seen a lot of people landscaping their homes with all the houses that are going up around here, people coming out and wanting plants done and their landscape designs done. So yeah, we've definitely seen some growth and we're really happy to be a part of the community and to to be able to grow, I guess I would say. So we're very happy with that. You mentioned all the new construction houses. There's a lot of new construction in the area. Do you have quite a few people who come out and kind of have you lay out their house? Yeah, so there's, like I said, there's two services we offer here. We offer full service landscape design, which is like a where somebody actually, there's a designer involved and you do a plan and whatnot, but then we've also had a lot of people just kind of want to do it themselves and stop out and say, hey, I just, I'm moving into town. I want to plant a few things in front of my house. Can I help you? And we have staff here that can do both of those options and we're very happy to do it. And it's one of my favorite parts. I always find it fun what people end up with what they want in their garden. So I like it. What's it like to do business in the Norwalk surrounding area? I would describe it as, it's, it's fun because it's kind of a, it's sort of a small town but also a growing area so we kind of get the best of both worlds. We get people who have been here for a while that have done different things in the community and want to just change things up or we've also done people that are new and it's just kind of exciting to see all the new people coming to town and want to change things and make things better and that's kind of describes what it's like. Is there anything uh, unique about your business or kind of sets it apart from maybe a different um uh, landscaping place or floral shop? Um, I feel like the, for us the quality sets us off and then also the unique variety that we offer um, and just the grounds itself if you haven't been out here in a while we have a lot of different things going on like we have animals bushes and we have really unique gardens and I would kind of say our place also where we are at and just coming coming here and looking at things also makes us unique as well. Mm -hmm. Okay great. Well, I appreciate you watching the video. Um, again, if you're looking for some flowers or landscaping or anything in that horticultural uh, area, hope you stop out here and, and see what they have to offer. Uh, thankful for Wesley again from Wesley Rouse Media for producing the film for me again. Um, but again, we need to support our, our local, business here, local businesses here in town. It's really important for us to help um, support them so they can support our community as well. Uh, if you enjoy this video and if you uh, wonder if there's other videos out there to look at, if you go to my Facebook page, Jerry Dryman Realtor, there are lots of videos there of the ones we've previously done. Uh, but thanks again for taking a look at this video.